Cool, dude. Just let us know when you're ready, buddy. I'm ready. Do you want to do an intro to this one? Pinch no. no. Go on, do a quick intro. No, I'm not doing it. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> to the east lies the Middle Kingdom, the homeland of great thinkers and incredible artists. The land of mighty rivers, majestic mountains, and mysterious forests. The legendary temple of South Shaolin first appeared here hundreds of years ago. Its inhabitants perfected their ancient techniques for centuries, training the body, mind, and soul every day. Fearless monks defended the temple from both ruthless bandits and the terrible forces of darkness. But their greatest challenge was the invasion of the Wuku, pirates from the east who landed on the country's southern shores. When the government, mired in corruption, was unable to withstand the enemy's assault, the Shaolin monks decided to break their own rules and help. Joining forces with the Imperial Army, the monks managed to defeat the Wuku troops at the cost of many of their own lives. Victorious, the monks returned to their monastery and life went back to normal in the coastal towns. However, for the young fisherman Wei Cheng and his village, trouble followed trouble, seemingly without end. Wei Cheng lay bleeding to death in the middle of his plundered village. This was how our story would have ended if the Buddhist monks hadn't arrived in time. Making a stretcher out of their staffs, they placed Wei Cheng on it and carried him for several days until they finally reached one of the local fortified houses. You have awoken at last. I am glad that my potions were able to help, for you were barely breathing when they brought you here. Who are you? How did I end up here? We are the monks of South Shaolin. I am Master Zhong Fei. On my left is Master Guan Li, the leader of our group, and Master Xuan Pai, his right-hand man. You are in our camp in an abandoned Tulu, not far from your village. Our scouts found you among the ruins and brought you here. Thank you. My name is Wei Chang. My grandfather was beside me in the village. Did he survive? I am sorry. We arrived when it was all over, and the village was nothing but a smoking ruin. You were the only survivor. Monsters. I will hunt them down and kill each and every one of them. Do you really think that these are normal bandits? We are sorry to bring you such sad news, but at least you are safe now. You are recovering quickly and will be able to return to your relatives soon. Do you have somewhere to go? I lost my parents when I was still a child, and my grandfather raised me. The rest of my family lived in the same village. Fate has been harsh to you, Wei Chang. We will wait until you are fully healed and then decide what to do. They cannot just toss you out onto the street. There we go. We've got both of us here. Awesome. So, we've already done that little prologue mission, so we both have the basics. Uh, let's go and talk to... Do we have to talk to this guy? Yeah, we've got to talk to this guy over here. Where are you going? I'm looking for you. Okay, yeah. <laughs> let's go around this way. Here we go. We've got to talk to this guy, I think. He's Hello, Wai Jin. Thing My said. name is Lu Hai Bo. You don't look like a monk. <laughs> You're a sharp one. I am but a poor merchant, as well as the captain of the ship Sparrow Feather. We will meet the monks in the south, in the Fujian province. The same place where the Temple of South Shaolin is located? That's right. They needed a ship to get over to Zhenjiang. I didn't take any money for the service and ended up staying with them. I look after the weapons and help them get where they need to go. I don't have a crew right now, so the monks themselves are helping me sail the ship. The first combat sailors of Shaolin in the world. Cool. We've got our oak pole. So let's go... I think it's here? No, it's back to this guy, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Zongfei. I guess you have some balls, lad. And you can stand up for yourself. However, 
you must start using your chi in combat. Follow me, and I will teach you how to achieve it. All right, so this is like the power attacks that we, uh, we can do. Yeah. Let us start with focusing on the internal power within you. Try to feel how it flows within your whole body, filling every part of you. Let now, fill every go part ahead of with you, one of the strokes, but keep it I'm, slow. I'm, 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 it's broke. All of your energy in it. I can't do it. Oh, there we go. You're a quick study, Wei Chung, aren't you? Keep in mind that your power is limited, and it only fulfills during combat. Cool. Can we talk about this guy and go? Yeah, we're all done. Cool. Right, now we can get a mission going. Wei Chang, since you have almost fully recovered, I have a simple but very important request. Brother Zheng Lung has gone to the Temple of the Late Plum on Putuo Shan. Temple of the Late Plum. We haven't heard from him in a while, and Lu Hai Bo is planning to sail after him. Can you help him? Of course, it is no bother. Plus, Master Zhongfei told me that I need to move more. Thank you. That would be a huge help. You'll meet Shang Lung at the same time. He's one of the best South Shaolin warriors. Cool. Looks like we get a magic shovel from this dude. Cool. Right. Select it. There you go. Now the door's open. Let's go. Go find Zen Long. Let's do it. I'll go and check the hold since we recently developed a rat problem. I will wait here for you. Who are you trying to trick, BAD? You have boxes of wine down there, not rats. These are herbal potions. Hurry up. I want to leave before noon. Cool. So we get some early tea. It's broken. I have a bad feeling about this. Hey, go on, you get that one. Temple is under attack. We must find Jungle as quickly as possible. Oops. Power poke. <laughs> I love that one. Oh, blow dog guys, they're proper annoying. I got him. Small. <laughs> I love tap. Yeah. Gotta get my power poke on, buddy. Another one over here, dude. I've already got two. Tea over here, dude. I've, I've, oh, we've both got three. Cool. Tea, dude. Yeah. My tea, yeah. Got a 
couple of parries badly timed there. If you knock that timing up, it can all go tits up real quick. Hey, I like that. <laughs> Combo finisher. Ugh. Oh, he's got crap. a big chopper. Well, did Look at that. Morons find it? I want to fight that dude with the big sword. Even the toilets, yeah. but it's nowhere His to handle's found. almost as long as our poles are. Finish off the monks and this lowlife, then burn this place down. Who are you calling a lowlife? Marking up the bloody parries. These guys with their hats, man. Chasing moon. Are you badly wounded? I've had worse. Who is that with you, Daoshan? Is it really that fisherman? Yes. My name is Wei Chang. Shi Guan Li has sent us to get you. Looks like this Hulk has beaten the absolute crap out of you. <laughs> that was only round one. <laughs> However, I must so, admit like that it is leader, yeah. despite fighting with the grace of a drunk pelican, possesses superhuman strength. Quick, let's head to the ship before Li Hai Bo starts complaining again that we're dawdling. Can't be dawdling. There we go, magic shovel. Hey. Zheng Lun, did you find out anything? The monks themselves haven't heard anything, but the Wuku still left behind a few hints. It seems that at least two clans are operating in this region. Red Clan, which attacked Wei Chung's village, and Green Clan, which we confronted just now. We don't yet know if they are connected. Wait, wait. Did you say Wuku? That's right. Japanese pirates have reappeared on the shores of the Middle Kingdom. Although their attacks are still very infrequent. But you had crossed the Wuku five years ago. I thought my village was attacked by just another band of brigands who dressed up as pirates to scare people. They've done that before. I don't care if they're bandits or another Wuku invasion. I want to help you fight them. First, it's too early to talk about a full-scale invasion. There are different theories about what is happening, and our group was sent here to find the answer. Second, if we need help with fishing, we will be sure to call for you. Fishing? Hey, I fight better than you do. I slug in a soft sand. Pull the other one. How would a simple fisherman we're just fishermen. know how to fight? Staff fighting was a skill passed down through the generations in my family, as well as fishing. Grandfather Do they want our help or not? Teach me everything, yeah. <laughs> but it was enough to defend our village from bandits. 
It'll certainly be enough to knock the teeth out of those filthy pirates. I've seen him fight, Guanli. His technique is weak, but he has enough strength and endurance for two. I'll give him that. Plus, you know yourself that few survive with such wounds as his. As much as I respect our teacher, there is more at work here than infusions. And he can kill a pirate by grabbing him by the mustache. What if the pirate doesn't have a mustache? They killed my whole family and destroyed my whole family. <laughs> don't make sense. <laughs> oh no, man, it's Fine. a bit funky, isn't it? An extra staff won't hurt. Come back when you are ready. I have a few tasks for you. So when I played through the prologue of this, down. I was um, commenting on how the translation needs a bit of work, and I was assuming they were sort of like a, an Asian-based studio, but not the Russian. Oh, right. Um, but still, I think the translation work needs a bit of bit of work. Where do we get right. our new toy from? Uh, come to Lou Haibu here. And then click on your oak pool and put on the Forest Rage. Using Chi restores your health. So those like powered attacks we can do, that can give us um, a bit of extra health. So I think we've got to talk to well, wait, this Tom. guy here again. It is about time we'll for you one. to fight alongside the true Let's monks next of mission. Shaolin. Whenever you're ready to learn something new, I will be there for you to show some of our combat techniques. Cool. So a little bit of an upgrade tree here. Let's stick one on each of them. And then what do you reckon we should stick an extra point on? Um, I have to do it myself now. Slash or thrust. Have you got your own skill tree? Yeah. Brilliant. Cool. Let's do dash distance on that thrust. I think that's what I've gone for. Let us know when you're all done. Yeah, I'm done. Cool. I think we've got to talk to this chap to pick up our next mission. Alright. Where should we go? I think we've got two options. We can go and help a wounded lumberjack. Let's do that. Or bandits who have captured a guest house. Either or. Let's go and do the lumberjack. Yin and Jin have found a wounded lumberjack who told them that their sawmill was attacked. The Wuku ships are usually not particularly new, so they regularly need timber for repairs. I doubt you'll encounter much resistance, but if you're unsure, take Daoshan with you. I think I will take Daoshan with me. Let's go, Daoshan. Let's do it. Yeah, boy. Use our magic shovels. Look at this, this looks cool. Another tip at the bottom, my dude. Okay. Go on, you grab that one, dude. I keep getting myself confused with you. Oh, your character. Sweet. Yeah, I like it. Double power kick. Have it. Where's the T down there? I'll get that one. There's two here. Two. So one each. Why does it keep saying RB? To pick up the T. Oh, yeah. Oh. Fuck 
keep forgetting the bloody parry. <laughs> yeah, you can interrupt the armoured dudes with it as well. Yeah. Oh, I've just walked into the bloody place as well. Blades, bloody blow darts, everything. Whoop. T. Oh, I'm flat Oh, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Remember, these um, powered attacks give you a little bit of health. Oh yeah. Whoa, see. Oh crap, I'm out of tea. Oh I'm man down. God, that takes ages. Oh, I'll just run into a saw blade. <laughs> so we can pick each other up. Yeah. Right, let's have another go. Yeah, it, it, it took ages though. It had to like fill up a whole wheel. one again oh god look at these guys they got big choppers anywhere and the Wuku wouldn't have taken them as hostages it means that they managed to escape into the forest it is safe to return the Wuku won't dare attack this sawmill again <laughs> not quite flawless but no still kick a little bit of butt the Wuku have occupied a small village north of here according to reports the same red mass swordsman who wounded Zhang Lung also led the attack. I thought masks were only worn on holidays. Every day is a holiday for that cutthroat. Silence, you idiots. Zheng Lun and Wei Chung, you will come with me to free the village. The plan is simple. The village is surrounded by a thick bamboo forest, which we will use to sneak up to it. Once we reach the edge of the forest, we will draw closer together. If you meet the leader, wait for the others. Do not engage. It shall be done. Certainly, my general. Oh, why did I take you dorks with me? 
As soon as we are back, you are going off to meditate for Just what you expect the Buddhist monk to say, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Stuff, stuff, stuff like you've got balls and shit like that. And then that. he's going inappropriate quips. But then you're a bunch of dorks. <laughs> right, I think we'll leave it there for that episode. That's um, that's a good length of it. It's a good little intro to the game. We've got us both in it, which is something. Yeah. Uh, looks like we've got some upgrades to, to do with the big guy there. So we'll do that beginning of the next one. Cool. So, leave it there. See you next time, buddy. Yeah, man. Definitely.